Almost two weeks ago, Haley Jangard dropped everything and went to New York. She spoke with me about the reality of the situation there. And we should warn you, some of the descriptions are disturbing. It, it just, it's, it's a war zone. I don't know how, how a better way to describe it. Deep in the trenches of the COVID-19 pandemic. It looks like a third world country in here. It's, this is not what you would expect to see. Uh, this is a health care system in crisis. In New York hospitals. No way. This is America. There's no way there's body trucks. There's no, there's no way patients aren't getting proper care. There's rules. There's protocol. We follow those. That's impossible. A harsh reminder, the statistics are not just numbers. Bodies that are just laying in the beds at the hospital because we don't have enough room to put them into the trucks. Like we're just running out of room. It, it's honestly looks like a war zone. A battle many patients fight alone. I've seen people die. I, that's not something new to me. But what is new to me is people dying alone. You'll walk in and the patient had died alone or I guess with a roommate they've never met. They died with patient A or patient B next to them. Along with the emotional toll and unexpected challenge coming from the very equipment meant to protect caregivers. Cheeks were all raw and red and hives. And then when I woke up this morning, there was like pus on my, my pillow from uh, my cheeks being raw right here. But glimmers of hope keep Haley going strong. Everyone comes out their window and bangs pots and pans and cheers for five minutes for the um, the healthcare providers because seven o'clock is like when shift changes and so so then night shift and day shift can see that and that's it's incredible. Now Haley hopes to open the nation's eyes to the reality she's seeing. I thought if I share this, maybe people can understand how real. This really is they don't want their loved one to be the one in the hospital that has to die alone and they don't get their brief phone call because we're out of iPads. Haley and many other caregivers from Intermountain Healthcare will return on May 2nd and they will use their experience to help patients here in Utah. And we, of course, applaud and thank them for their services. In Murray, Katia Collins, Fox 13 News, Utah.